Don't you fucking lie. I, hey I know. What's you up? see. What's up? Hey, guys. It's Peeve Pigeon. Back with another gaming video. Yes. As you notice. Today we're going to be playing Fortnite. <laughs> As you notice, this is a little small group today, but uh, that's because we they, the, uh, we don't talk about the other two. They just kind of died. But today we're going to we're gonna be joined by Coco. You guys know who Coco is. He's been in a few videos recently, but... He's... It was in the Animal Jam one. Yeah. The, wait, what? That Animal like Jam? Years you ago. An Animal Jam video? That was years ago, yeah. What? I want to see you now. Oh, first, in that one. It's our first really? podcast of 2021, so that's, that's, that's exciting. Woohoo! Woohoo! It might be the beginning of the year, but for people in school, it's the midpoint in their school year already. Anthony, you've gained ten subscribers. Yay! They know. They <laughs> know we're recording. <laughs> they know. They can sense it. The hair. Wow, on I their... can sense a good video brewing up. <laughs> mm. They can just feel their spines just like come out of their back like a fucking wolf, and they just like start snarling like, "Oh, he has a video." Arr. Oh, can we talk? I mean, about... I mean, I about... mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> can we talk about how recently um we got into FNAF. Yeah, oh. FNAF, am I right? If you haven't looked at my second home. channel, uh, which you should, P Pigeon Live, I've subscribed to it. We've we've kind of uploaded a lot of FNAF content. <laughs> FNAF, FNAF. Yeah, no, it started out oh, as a joke, but now I'm questioning if I like it or not. <laughs> now I'm just <laughs> converted. You. As a matter of fact, it's the only thing on our podcast notes. <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just gonna talk about FNAF the whole time. Oh, man. If you guys had to be a one, if you guys had to be an animatronic, which one would it be? Your mom. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> we kind of went backwards, like <laughs> recently. I don't Severe know. brain rot. We're going back to your mom jokes in uh, FNAF. Oh, FNAF. Something, I just realized that we're just living back. Something we probably would laugh at. We're still laughing at it. Something that we did when probably we're in fifth grade. But here we are. Ten. But not, we're doing it ironically now. <laughs> it's funny though. I feel like it's funny just to make fun of stuff we used to like as little kids. Coco, fix your light. The electrician. Fix your light, yeah. fix your light. It... Not fluorescent LEDs. Those things are cool. Fix the it. Light you fix it. How do you want me to fix it, Lana? Look, that's, it's not that's, working. That's better. That's better. It's... Oh, it's better? Oh, yeah, I can see him. No, that's actually good. Hey, hey, Coco. It looks like I'm. It looks like I'm dreaming. Like it's like it's hazy <laughs> in the corners of like the camera. That looks fucking scary. I don't <laughs> like. It looks like what I imagine sleep demons look like. Yeah. Chain so anyways, guys. What should our first topic be? <laughs> what should our first topic Your be? Your mama. Come on, guys. What should our first topic be? Uh, why you're bouncing the bed? <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see well i i wrote a list actually uh i, I wrote know. a list too oh yeah me stop it i don't know if the list <laughs> me too oh well, let me go get it let me just oh yeah the list shows it's probably backwards but i'm gonna go get it <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, what was i gonna say like yeah well, there's no yeah, females I... in this podcast this time. Let's talk about titties. There's, the girls are out of here. Oh, it's just yeah. the boys. It's just the boys. Let's talk about titties. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I saw that a little while. Yeah, hold on. I don't have a weapon with me. I have this. It was supposed to be, like, with my microphone. But I'm not using it. Alano? Alano, no! Make another meme template with that sword. Like, stand what, next... what am I gonna hit? Okay, so stand what next to hit? the TV. Right? And yeah, I, yeah, there we go. Well, actually, stand like. Hold it. Yeah, like. That. I'll give you a second to, like, catch the blur of me, like. Boo. <laughs> I'm sure we can always get that in there when we rewind the. Rewind time. Okay. Yeah. Boom, perfect. There we go. Okay, we got that as Alano Sword, not PNG. Yeah. Can we talk about our new business, alanoboobs.com? 
Yes, I, I want. That was a business. Right with it. We're, yeah, we're getting some. So uh, complicated to put the sword back. We're getting some agents with us. Uh, going on <sighs> Shark Tank. Mr. Wonderful's gonna serenade us with his baldness and make some. And we're gonna business. get some stuff. Yeah, we're gonna Mr. make Ruiz some profit. Music. So, a little dark of my day. Uh, GM Awards. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys didn't know, but that got canceled because uh, my file got corrupt for that. So people are wondering. Fuck. Then that's that's how it is. The, the the awards show is just basically like a funny moments of like 2020 of all like the funny stuff we did. But uh, yeah. Oh, how you lost that Wii tennis? That video was yeah. that video was probably shit ton of work too. It was. But you get to look of, through like a million videos. Speaking of shit ton of work, we talk about Sony Vegas because I know uh, we're getting into that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I've been working on that for the past few days. Yeah. I got a huge video coming out. Yeah. So God. Alano, I, yeah. and Marie. Well, Marie showed us this, but uh, uh, I don't know if we should say it. Is it is it a bad? Nah, game? Mo moving on because we would. Be... Yeah, we get caught. <laughs> oh God, they already know. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy. I mean, on their thing, they, you can bow. cut this part out, but I'm saying on their thing, it literally stole it. No. Okay, next topic. Mm. Uh, I had this really weird dream. Yo, mama. <laughs> okay. I had this really weird dream yesterday where I made some type of music video. It has a really catchy song. I don't know what it was, but it was like a, like a rock style song. I don't know. And it got like, I remember the exact number. It was a really weird number. 711 thousand views for the video that it got i don't know i just went vi it was like i had a dream i just made a music video and it went viral oh that was, and i was and just you don't remember the song you yeah. don't remember the song i don't remember maybe it. maybe this is maybe this is uh maybe you're a prophet maybe you're dreaming of the future right now and it's like i was kept texting you guys on discord saying oh my god i can't believe it i made a video and it's get getting so many views right now oh my god guys Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, guys. What's the most realistic mm. dream? Most realistic? Going to a grocery uh, store? I had this weird ass dream. It wasn't like amazing, but I just like predicted the most obscure thing ever. Like, I had this dream that this girl in like third grade looked at the bottom of her shoe and saw like a piece of gum on it. And then the next day, I saw the exact same thing, and I'm like, wait a minute. I fucking saw this a day ago. Like, what the fuck? I, I dreamt about this. So, That's like... Crazy. Get, know, like, maybe Deja like Vu? Profits. I'm like an oracle. No, it wasn't, because Deja Vu means you've seen it before, like, it's familiar. But I just yeah. fucking straight up predicted it. I straight up like, saw I... it before it happened. Maybe you just need it. Bro, I'm gonna become... <laughs> Oh my God. I'm gonna become one of those people that like I I can sp I I can tell your future. Like you're gonna be amazing. Like a glass rich. ball. By this by this rock, yeah, it'll be dying only a hundred thousand dollars. Speaking of like crystal balls, I remember just picked it off the ground. <laughs> my balls. I remember remember field day. Remember how that used to be a thing. Remember Is that yes. a thing in high school? Does that relate to crystal balls? Okay, well, <laughs> well that, this is the thing. So I think of fifth grade, um, you know, field day is like all a bunch of activities you do outside and stuff for like the whole day. And if you don't bring a bottle of water with you to school, then you're fucking you're kind of fucked. But um, it's very, it's always very hot. Every field day is hot. I don't know. They, it's like they know what the hottest day of the year is and they just make it on field day. And it's like, there is this, uh, one of the teachers had a crystal ball. And so I was like, oh, I can ask questions. And she said, yeah, you can ask questions. I can tell your future. And I said, well, will I ever have a, a, a wife? And she's like, oh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. Yeah. That's a no, oh God. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, so what am I supposed to ask? She's like, oh, ask something that, um, fuck. Ask something realistic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like that. She said, ask something realistic. Wait, did she really? Yes. Did she really? Yeah. Oh, holy shit, I was joking. And then, so I'm That's like. That's so mean. So I'm like asking her, so 
when did George Washington die? <laughs> I asked her when George Washington died. <laughs> it's not even like That's not what you asked a prompt. She's not like, like and, she, and then she looked at me in a weird way and she's like, uh, I, I, you don't get it, do you? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I, I, I don't understand how this thing works. I just huh? imagine her start screaming at you like, you don't get it, do you, kid? Do you don't get it? <laughs> <laughs> this job isn't about that. <laughs> about the profit, the profit. The stocks. Oh, man. Is that New York? Yes. You New York be like. I remember those. Remember those ball like, things you used to throw like at a target. You had someone like above a platform, and if you hit the target, the person would fall into like a tank of water. I never did that. I dunk did. tank. Yeah, it was funny because I I think I don't know I had a really dark mind when I was like I've always had a dark mind, so I'm like oh wow he fell in the water, but wouldn't it have been cool if he was tied up and it was an anchor tied to his leg and he was like in the tank. <laughs> You hit the <laughs> target, and it's little like you can't get out anymore. That's that's interesting. I, that's a good <laughs> idea. I mean, you can take it up a shark tank. <laughs> maybe shark tank can maybe <laughs> maybe shark tank will just convert to that, but like it's fucking actual like sharks in the tank, <laughs> and they <laughs> you hit the target and you dunk like... the person proposing the business idea no. into the tank. If you don't get at least one of the investors <laughs> to invest with you, you get fucked. Like you just die. Dropped in the tank. Drop them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're like, oh, so this is the penis ejaculator three thousand. Um, it is supposed to double your sperm cells. Um, I'm looking for. Fifteen thousand dollars with five percent stake of my uh, investment. Um, mm -hmm. I've had about a couple of no. student loans I need to pay for. <laughs> no. Oh, student loans. Oh, I'm no. gonna say no to no. that offer. Sorry, sir. Presses the button. Fuck. There's just a shark under him. He just dies. I can see that being a horror movie, actually. God, what just fell? <laughs> <laughs> Watch the next episode of Shark Tank. Where we use sharks. I remember it was so weird. It's like I remember in fourth grade we were learning about like computers and stuff, right? And I, you know, it's like from the transition from fourth to fifth grade, it was like in fourth grade I didn't know what a computer was. In fifth grade, I'm using computers every day. It's like stepped into another world i just remember like i didn't i remember I, I just used to not be on a computer i used to watch tv all the time back in the day now it's just like different now Bro, some days i'm like yeah i'm gonna use technology less today because my eyes are burned like hell and then like a minute later i'm like oh shit i got school on here never mind <laughs> like yeah it's kind of contradicting don't you think they you... say you can't sit down and spend time on the screen yet you're spending time on the screen for like nine hours uh, they, these, these gosh darn zoomers <laughs> stuck their screen uh, <laughs> uh, dude, i had th i'm i've had three tests in the past week for health class the teacher doesn't stop giving me tests your mama had three health tests. True. She's oh. dead. Why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> don't joking. say that. Not a joke, everyone. Why? Please don't cancel me on Twitter. <laughs> I, I, Why? I promise you I'm not racist. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we all know COVID's been around for a long time. And it's actually almost been a year. In March, it's going to be a year since... Well, Wait, least... when's the... When's the anniversary of COVID? We should celebrate. It's already passed. Well, it's going to be a really? year. Yeah, but I'm talking yeah. about the anniver anniversary since we uh, quarantined. Like, literally, since the last time we were, like, had a normal day in school. Which Bro, When we first quarantined, March we didn't even 14th. bother with online school. I think like, it was, we just had, like... Yeah, I think it was March 14th, actually, which is going to be the one-year anniversary, at least for me and Alana of... One, you know, fuck. I I would did not know what ride I was like. I just jumped into. Well, I know it's like 
It's like they forced like everyone in the world onto the one carnival ride that they everybody fucking hated. Like, I thought it was gonna be okay, but it just never ended. It just... Speaking of carnival like, rides, oh man! Remember that? Remember Every that? Time you... Remember that one time? I don't want to say the place of the amusement park. Um, I don't know if they had multiple locations, but I'm I don't know. It was um, you know, it was like a field trip. It was like a oh, lake. Man. They start, you know, the amusement park started with the word lake. And then that just gave it away. No, it didn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, yeah, can you we know, say lake it? flags. Can we, can we can we still say it though? I mean, it's just an amusement park. It's like everyone goes. Yeah. There. All right. Lake flags. Okay, it was a place... river compound. Yeah, lake <laughs> compounds. It was a really I liked it, but um, remember that one carousel ride? And I remember I think Coco was in a group. I don't remember actually. But I think, um, I know Alano knew this, remembered this. Where it was like, oh, I remember that. Hey, you want to go on this uh, carousel? And you're like, no. I'm like, please, come on, it's fun. <laughs> and then, and then you, 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 I go, I'm the only one that goes on and out of the group. And then the, the ride. Did they just watching you? Yes, they just, I think you were there, Coco. But we, yeah, you guys are just watching me. And it was just so fucking slow, the carousel ride. <laughs> With the I remember. Music. Oh my god! I remember Whoa. it was you or Ben that made us go on this ride, like this train thing. Oh, and yeah. then like we're like, we're like, was it you or Ben? I me, don't remember. I think it was me. Ben was Bro, a supporter. You made us go on that. And you're like, trust me, trust me, trust me. We'll get to the lunch line faster. And then we literally go across the whole amusement park, and we're like. Oh, this is an end at the lunch line. It ends at the other side of the amusement park. Better start running. <laughs> yeah, I remember we started sprinting. I remember that we started sprinting down the. We, we were like a bro. We, I, you, you said it. You told us it would end up at the lunch line. It's like, yeah, I, I promise, man. Oh shit, it doesn't. Okay, it, it, better start running. <laughs> like, I remember when we suddenly realized we all like kind of slowly looked at each other, like, oh shit. We jump off. We start running. My mom is like, because she was a chaperone for our group, she's like, oh, I'll meet you there. And my mom, she's like a chill chaperone. She's not one of those chaperones It's like, clingy. It's like, oh, um, I'm not a teacher, but I'm going to act like a teacher. You know, one of those chaperones. Don't run. <laughs> don't, don't run. Don't run. Don't run. I'll catch you. <laughs> I'll fucking burn you. So, don't in your you don't, you don't want to find. You don't want to find out what's in then, my back pocket. Didn't we? Didn't I say? What if we just take the ride back? But the thing is, the train was so fucking slow. <laughs> it was going like five miles. I remember. Per hour. Oh my god, you were so smart, Anthony. Even a toddler could outrun that fucking train. It's how slow it was. <laughs> Bro, I don't remember if it was. And we realized it like through midpoint of like the ride too. There's nothing we could do about it. We were just fucking praying. Anthony, didn't you make us go on this carousel thing too? Yeah, I told you that just now. Oh no, no, not the not like a carrot, but like the horses going in a circle. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. What? No, no, no. It was like a, a circle thing, and I, like I was talking about like that little train thing that went like. Oh no. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but I remember, and then Miss McGee, which was one of our enrichment teachers back in seventh grade, she she got really pissed at us. We went in the lunch line, and the lunch line was really long, and we were like waited a long time. And she's like, "Oh, you cannot go on this line because your chaperone's not here." And I'm like, "Well, my mom's coming. She says we're gonna be okay." And she's like, "No. What if you get kidnapped? Just stay. Just go away. It's like if you're gonna think, why don't you just watch us? We're ready in the line. It's like we at the at that point we were like 13. It's like we could take care of ourselves. I just, we were a group. I of just people. imagine you just being like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. And what if you drowned? <laughs> yeah. What if I what if I fucking punted you into the lake? I only remember going to like compounds." once like for the entire first half i was waiting for my dad because he didn't have like the the the, the tickets and the line was long so i was just like oh. hi <laughs> and then like i finally left like, Jesus. and like i kept switching between your group your guys group and like um you know for secret states blah. 
I'll cut. I'll just pause the recording. You can say. But you know those like rides that go like up slowly and then this. Yeah. So we went on that ride, and I'm sitting next to him. And I just keep like, yo. I just keep counting down and I keep uh, like making fun of how high it is, like how we're gonna just drop. And like, he's like freaking out. And then like later, like this was like a few like years later, he's like, "Yeah, you were giving me a panic attack." And I don't know why I find that found that so funny. Like, when it comes to roller coasters, I can't do it. We're gonna go down this big hill, Anthony. Oh, get ready! Whoa. I remember, Whoa. I remember the Big E, and um, well, I'll talk about the Big E field trip for high school, but I want to talk about the Big E uh trip I went with my family mm. and John Lee. You guys know who John Lee is? He's he's another friend of ours that we collab with, but he's like dead. Like I don't know, we haven't collabed in a long time. But um, I fucking murders him. I think had to make room to get on the podcast. <laughs> this ain't big enough for the both. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know for room. Yeah, that's what happens. And I remember we went on this John little Lee. we went on this kitty ride roller coaster when it was just in a circle and a one little bump. I remember I was eleven. I used to get fucking scared when I went up that bump. I don't know. I'm just so terrified of roller coasters. I screamed and I cried. And there were like little eight year olds next to me just like laughing at me. <laughs> I dude, I get so scared on roller coasters. I don't know why. I get dizzy and I just like I I can't do it. And it's why whenever we go to, like, amusement parks for field trips, like, you guys will see me just not wanting to go on rides because I, I have terrible trauma with that shit. I don't like it at all. It's and, good to keep right. But, uh, but uh, remember in ninth grade, the big E, uh, Awano and I, and uh, I don't know, like, two other random people were in our group. Um, <laughs> wait. No, it was three random people. I don't know. I know. I know one of the three people. Alano does too. She's from middle school, but I don't know if we can say her name. We'll just call her Big D. <laughs> Who are you even talking about? Yeah, five foot Big D. So. We'll, Dick. Well, <laughs> well, short, short. That was short, my short. D. That was my name back in prison. Ooh. Short D actually, because she was short. Big D. She was also Mexican too, but. I remember we left her behind. Oh. And she got really... Small D. She's like... Four... <laughs> <laughs> we, we left her behind. I, like, I didn't know we left her behind. I thought she went to go with her other friends. Like, I don't know what they were doing. Just doing meth behind the tree or something. But it's like... And she went back to us. And I remember like 50... Like an hour later, she's like, Where have you guys been? Like, I'm looking for you. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I remember she was walking with... Dude, it was so the biggie was so crazy. There was, like, five of us. Every time I looked back, one person was fucking gone of our group. Like, oh, one person's gone. Oh, another person's gone. And to the point where it was, like, I was the only one left. I'm, like, trying to look for everyone. The horror movie. It was, like, a secret mission. I was trying to look for everyone. I didn't know where anyone went. Everyone just went their own direction. And the big E, I thought it was going to be fun at first. But then I realized it's, like... There's nothing it's to do. True. There's nothing to do there. It's like it was. It was fun for me because it was the first time I rode a, like a real roller coaster. Uh, it wasn't fun for me. Yeah. I, didn't I got go peer pressured into it. I didn't go. <laughs> remember that uh, Rem those claw machines or something? Like uh, I remember one of our the friends scams. Yeah. Was yeah, obsessed scam. with those ratatouille in the claw machine. He was obsessed with ratatouille. I think he spent all his money <laughs> trying to get the ratatouille, Ooh. but he never did. Who? Uh, big A. Small, <laughs> why do you call the small people big? What the fuck? Well, he was shorter than us, but he was not, he's not He's not really short. Yeah, but he's also not big. Medium A. <laughs> Medium A. <laughs> Double A battery. Yeah, I remember. He was obsessed with Ratatouille. There was more to the Big E than just the roller coasters. There is this one haunted house thing, roller coaster, where you go inside the haunted house, like in a roller coaster. It go really slow, and things will pop out and jump scare you. I remember me and John Lee went on that, and everything that popped out was on Ooh, my side. jump scares. Everything that popped out was on my side. So I had to experience everything. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, uh, that's very traumatic. 
Ooh, I forgot bro, that I had this really existed. weird memory. Wait, what? I forgot, what? I forgot that right existed. Oh, I have this weird memory of um, I have I was on this like baby roller coaster. It was super slow when I was like super little. I think it was like seven or eight or something. But I look behind me and I see some dude like walking on the tracks, and he like stop like it, he stopped like the roller coaster that was headed at him. It just fucking like stopped right at him. And he just looked at them and like stumbled away on the track still. And to this day, I just don't fucking... Actually, now that I think about it, he might have been drunk. <laughs> Bro, he's like, oh shit, I can't take this. I'm like, whoa. It was like a zombie-themed roller coaster. It was like a zombie-themed roller coaster, so I thought it was like a real-life zombie. And then like, not looking back to it. It was like just a really f fucked up dude. He was at a low spot or something. <laughs> Remember Six Flags? Uh, well, actually, we've never went to Six Flags, but in my experience, summer, fifth grade summer camp, I remember my group went to summer, uh, to, uh, Six Flags, and, um, I didn't like any of the road cars, I didn't go on them, and, um, I just kind of just went around, looked around, there was really, I brought, like, 30 bucks with me, I thought that was enough to get something, and then I realized it's like, I can't get shit with 30 bucks, I'm basically fucking poor. <laughs> Why are, like, amusement parks so, like, expensive? Yeah, I, like, whenever, like, um, when I was little, my father would give me money. He's like, oh, here's some, here's ten bucks. That'll get you something at the Six Flags. There was here's a $20 cup. And you get, like, something, like, this big. Yeah. But, but now, but now looking at it, it's like, ten bucks is nothing. I get, like, a fucking drink with that. Maybe. Keep me thirsty all day. And then, you have like two dollars left. The, the, the sucky thing about it was no one told me that there was gonna be a water park there. So it was like all the teachers spent their whole entire day at the water park area, and I'm here. Oh yeah. Eleven year old me saying, "Well, what the fuck? I can't do anything." The teachers were pretty hot though. I gotta say. They're what? Like, they, they, I don't know. It was kind of hot. They were in their bikinis. <laughs> it's okay. Uncalled for. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> don't like it. It's okay. That's weird to say about your like old teachers. <laughs> no, they're not old. They were old. They were. They were old. <laughs> they hey, were. Hey. <laughs> Miss Jennings. Miss Jennings, you were hot. They're like in their twenties. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't know who Miss Jennings is. Me neither. Uh, I never whoa. heard of that. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> shit. So, yeah. Mm. And then it's like, everyone got on their, like, you know, um, swimsuits and stuff. I'm like, well, fuck. I, I don't know. I don't have any swimsuits. So, stupid just 11... rip off all your clothes. No, I didn't do that. Um, you just run in your when, it come, when it comes to swimming in public, uh. I keep my... Well, I get, like, a shirt on for swimming and pants on. I don't know. I'm kind of nerd. I don't know. I just get shy. And I'm too shy to take Same. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so I don't like, even know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna drown, bitch. Okay, so I went into one of these swimming I just pools died. in my clothes. <laughs> you're so stupid. I look and back at it now. I can imagine being an adult. You're working there. You see some like kid in his like <laughs> cargo shorts and his like um like really formal shirt just fucking walk in the pool wait i can see you. you're probably you're probably sitting there like uh oh can, uh -oh. can then, somebody <laughs> so with somebody the 30 bucks i had me. with the 30 bucks i had i didn't spend it at all yet because like i didn't have anything to spend it on i'm like thinking what if i get a pair of goggles cuz i the eyes hurt my chlor like the chlorine hurt my eyes so I'm like going to the store. I buy a pair of goggles, <clears throat> and the lady was like, "Okay, here you go." I'm like, "Hooray!" And, and I asked her before I bought it, "Hey, can I try these out just to make sure like they fit? Cause like these look like they fit, but I want to make sure." And she's like, "You can't do that because if you do, then you're gonna have to pay for it." I'm like, "He straight up scammed you." Yeah, they <laughs> just fucking they just fucking exploited you. Holy shit! And like, okay, so I I give like like twenty bucks to them for it. And um, I put on the, it, and you know, not no surprise. I put on the goggles. They don't fit. I'm like to the lady, well, ma'am, they don't fit. Can I have my money back? She's like, sorry, it's our policy. You you can't, you can't return anything That's back. That's so fucked up. I'm like, she probably kept that money for herself. 
but I'm like, but ma'am, I really, I really need like my money back. I don't, I don't have anything else to like spend it on. I'm gonna starve out here. She's like, no. Tough time, name? kid. Tough time. Take it. Take a fucking L. Wait, bank. what was her name? You can, if this podcast ever blows up, then like. I don't know her name. <laughs> call her out. I remember. <laughs> call her. She was a blonde. Go find her. She was a blondie. So that's probably. That does not narrow it down at all. <laughs> that does not narrow it down. <laughs> I don't know. So there's <laughs> just one, like one woman, just <laughs> talking about. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but if you're watching this, run, run, they, run. Imagine they actually run, see this. Run, 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 <laughs> run, run, run. Okay. So, anyways, um, I I go out at the store in disappointment. I have these goggles in my hands that don't even fit me. I'm like, my head's down. I'm like, fuck. I, I fucked myself. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna Ooh. take it as I'm, I'm gonna be a man and go back in the pool. That's what men do. And then I want this really cool water slide thing. I'm like, hooray! But then I realized, well, fuck. Now my clo- <laughs> my clothes are drenched. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm not having a good time at all. I got scammed. And then it's time to leave, and it's hot <laughs> out. I'm like, fuck. I go home, and my parents you ask good. me, "You gonna have, have a fun? swampy day, B. Like oh no, says, not yeah. a swampy diapy, no. Yeah, you know like how when it's like you're really wet and your clothes are like, st- like they're stuck to your skin? Like it's like really hard to take it's it off. That's bomb butt, bro. Yeah, I was like that. I took like a, I took a long, warm shower. You have to sit on like a, the bus, the like leathery oh. bus seats. Too. Oh, God, I hate that feeling. Oh. It's the worst Someone feeling. sees you get up and it's just like... <laughs> You're like a, a wet frap. You pissed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. I, I. That's why I don't. When people say that they love Six Flags, I'm always that one outlier that's like, I don't. I don't like Six Flags. Oh, where, where's where's my hat? Where'd it go? I've had a lot of traumatic experiences with things. It's, uh, it's, yeah. What, what's a traumatic experience one of you guys had at an amusement park? I drowned. <laughs> I remember when just swim. I remember I went to Disney World <laughs> and I almost drowned in Disney World. No, I was like flipping in the, actually that wasn't an amusement park. That wasn't at an amusement amusement park. Dude, Disney World I don't remember. Disney World's a really fun place. It's like that's the best amusement park I've been to so far. Uh Disney World because it's like <laughs> Because Disney World, I don't know. It's like they got really nice rides, like kid friendly rides. Like they got little roller coasters, but it's like, it's nothing to be afraid of because it's like, I don't know, it's really fun. And they got really good food there too. Even though it's expensive, it's worth it. Their food's actually good, you know. You get good customer service. It's like, we can return things if you want to. <laughs> Uh, it's like looking in a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, um, Anthony. We know you don't have a hat. All right, guys. I remember almost. I was at a summer camp, and I was like, it was like the deep end, right? But I'm like a tall, well, I'm a tall dude. Yeah. I'm a tall kid. Yeah, I'm, wrong I'm, I'm, big boy. I'm fine. I'm on my. I'm on my. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm, I'm fine. And I start, I'm like, yo, I could do a backflip if I did two. Like, and water gets in my eyes. I, I, I freaking start almost drowning. I, like, climb up on the curb. I'm like, <laughs> and the, the guy looks down at me. He's like, you good? I'm like, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I remember, I remember. What happens after that? What? Yeah, what happens after that? That's just, it's just, just awkward. Uh, Coco, when you when you said like, oh, I'm I'm a tall boy, oh, I can handle the deep end. I had flashbacks. I instantly thought of like me slipping into the deep end and just fucking spinning and going under and go. <laughs> oh, I, I can handle this one. <laughs> I, used to, I used to take uh, I used to take swimming classes in fifth grade, right? I used to be like a king at fucking three foot, four foot, and five foot pools, but when anything deeper than five foot, I I'm just scared. I remember. 
we did this one lesson where the instructor was like, okay, so we're going to go in the 10 foot pool. And all the kids were like screaming with joy. And I'm like the only one that's like almost crying already with the idea that I'm going to fucking drown. And Why like, does Coco? I'm like clinging. I'm like clinging to like the ground. Like my half my body's in the water. I'm like, like fuck. Those, uh, I don't want to. The like, wild pool. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking. I don't want to drown. He's like, you won't drown. And he's like, I don't want to go. He's like, just, pushes you. Just, pushes you under. You won't drown. Don't worry, <laughs> Anthony. He, 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 said, uh, he said that. Uh, he said, oh, don't, no. just don't look at. Just don't think about. It. Don't look at the bottom. And then, you know, 11-year-old me, I experienced a lot of shit when I was 11, holy shit, but 11-year-old me was like, oh, well, I'm gonna look down, and I just see some guy swimming in circles at the bottom of the fucking pool. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, don't wanna go down there. I'm like, no. a shark. I He's gonna grab that. He had, like, goggles and stuff, and he was, like, swimming in circles. Like, I don't know what the hell he was doing. He was one of the Oh, that's what players. happened when I died. <laughs> 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 Didn't want that. Oh, that's what hell looks like. Oh. Fuck. I like to swim, but I just don't like swimming in like deep water. I'm afraid of deep, deep water. Yeah. Back in my day, we used to go swimming in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, anyways, um, well, the summer's coming up soon. Uh, I mean, five months from now. But five months is that go by really fast. Just look how fast the quarantine's gone. What are you guys gonna not at do all? For this, Qu- this has literally been the longest year of my life. Really, it's been the quickest year of my life. Really? Yeah. Twenty, am I right? What do you guys do for of- summer? What are summer plans? You Coco, guys? you're really reminding me of TikTok. And I, I, my oh mom God. is your summer plan. Talk- <laughs> I like how- well. Have you guys ever been forced to socialize with people in online school? Uh, no. Uh, one time, and then the, the teacher came in the room and realized, like, the breakout room, and realized it was really awkward, and then they never did it again. Bruh, I wish my teacher do the same way. My teachers see something awkward, they, they, are, they push for it. They push for it. It's like, oh, awkwardness, that's what I like to see. And they, they start pushing for it. And it's like, there are so many times where the teachers literally individually, like, pushed me out there to, like, talk to people. And it's like, it's not bad, but it's awkward. And it's like, I'm literally talking to strangers. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. Okay, here we go. Anyways, so <clears throat> Alano, you can stop. Oh, why is that? So, uh, yeah, I, I just hate the fact it's weird because it's like I can socialize well when going to school physically, but I can't socialize well with online school. It's weird. It's like the same people, but it's I don't know. Okay, I got it working again. Your mom got it working again. <laughs> yeah. I, and then Rick, Thursday, like, um, I have to present a chemistry project in front of a group of seniors. And it's, I don't, the teacher thinks well, I'm okay with that. I'm not well, okay. I imagine too much whenever you say anything. I just imagined you with like a fucking... Like a board in the back of your room and like a stick and you're just like completely naked. No, I have to share my You turn my on screen. your video and you're like... I have to share you, my screen. You're like, screen. okay guys. I have to share, like, I have to share my screen. <laughs> and, and I don't like that. I don't want to share my screen. What if something pops up on my computer that's like... Just I'm not hot saying, men. The like search bar. I'm not saying anything bad's gonna pop up, but what if something does pop up? You know, it's like the teachers don't understand that stuff. They don't understand just... men, and they uh, they don't even know how to teach. Yeah. My chemistry teacher doesn't even know doesn't even teach us. She just gives us work off online. 
That's, that's yeah, something. I feel like ever since the online school thing started, the teachers have literally just been like reading the, what the curriculum says and then flipping the next page and speed running that page and then going to the next page. You guys get it yet? Yeah. Oh, well, cool. Next page. <laughs> Like, next unit. They just fucking read the curriculum off to us. Like, okay, we're gonna take three tests I feel like... next week. <clears throat> Don't mind me. Ooh. But they're not midterms. Oh, uh, they said that midterms in my school got canceled this year. Fuck, due to COVID, my my elbow's really sore, and like, <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know. I had this weird bump on my elbow, and it's been hurting for like two COVID. two days now. No, I don't have I don't have COVID. But whenever I do you have COVID? No. Whenever I cough though, I get scared. You know, it's like I know I don't have COVID. But it's like a cough is not normal anymore. People are the way people Dude. cough, it's gonna be like oh, completely different. It's gonna be like I also use auto tune. Yeah, I get it. Am I the only one hearing that? No, you guys are glitching out too. Whoa. It's okay. <laughs> you guys are glitching out. First it was Alana, now it's Coco. I think you guys are back to normal, though. I'm back to normal. Yeah, you guys are back to normal. I don't know what that weird thing is. Actually blanked out for a sec. Yeah. Anyways. Oh God, man. Let's... Yeah. So. Whew. Whew. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Uh. Fucking. Jesus, man. Jesus, man. Don't talk about Jesus. Jesus, man. Don't talk Here's about Jesus. Here's a trash bit. so very funny. What? And, like, you're in class, and, like, the mic will be muted, the, the camera will be off, and have cameras off with my school. And the teacher will just, good morning. <laughs> That's how it is for my classes, too. Yo, yo, what's, yo what's up, Jacob? <laughs> and then nothing. <laughs> Nothing. The connection is just not there. Hey, Melanda, uh, how's so... that? Uh, how's that period doing with ya? Whoa, a little <laughs> personal. So, like, bad. But also not at all. When I'll be like, when they'll be like, "Yo, good morning, Coco." <laughs> and you just want to respond and don't be awkward. You're just like, you know, what, fuck it. I'll just stay like, out loud, but with my mic muted. And just not say it again with my mic on. You know what I'm saying? I do the same thing. I answer with my mic off. <laughs> I'm like, well, I know the answer, but I don't want to say it. I know the answer. Tough sucks oh, for them. Sucks for them. I just feel bad sometimes. Like some of the teachers are actually nice, and like the students are just like dead in class. Like I even asked Raph, "Hey Raph, do you even pay attention in class? Am I the only one who pays attention?" He's like, "No, I don't pay attention." Raph doesn't pay attention. Yes, Anthony, you are the only one that pays attention. Uh, <laughs> like, I'll go. Like, yeah, I like these teachers. But I'm like not going to lie. The majority of why, I per like, the more, ah, like, the big reason as to why I participate a lot in class is because I'm kind of, like, peer pressured into it. Like, care i can just go and use my bathroom whenever i want they're not gonna stop people be like oh, i'm gonna use the bathroom what or like gonna do? Do they don't stop mm. like, oh, well, we no 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 they don't stop what are they gonna do oh. squat your house during a twitch stream whoa, whoa. i see alano's eye hey does my mic sound different Sounds like he slightly. Yeah, sounds like he put it through a trash can. Yo, mama. <laughs> sounds like sounds like one of my teachers' microphones. They don't even have microphones. They just I don't know. Trash clan flip. Be like. Comment down below if you're trash clan. Let's go. We need some fucking god. Trash oh clan my members. god. Oh. Uh. 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 There's so many things I want to do after COVID is done. Like, I don't know. So many video ideas I want to make. Because <laughs> we're getting at that point of our lives where we can do stuff. Just, we can't do it now because of the pandemic. Like, I feel like next year we'll be able to start doing stuff like fully. Hopefully next year. 
COVID gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'll be able to take my drivers to the, my, my drive. No. I don't think it's going to be that short. Like, a year sounds like a long time, but, you know, in terms of medicines and, like, curing diseases, that's a, that's a, that's a really, a, that's kind of a too short for them. You know, it's like, usually it takes some years. It's like, oh, wow, we came, we came out with it remarkably fast. Yeah. But does, doesn't that mean, like, less testing? Like, well, they're doing, they they claim they're doing more testing. Which, I mean, they've I mean, been could... doing testing for like a month now. They're co they're confident enough to put it in the big men. True. So. But that's I mean, all for show. Like, we want, I want to see like what actually happens to them. Yeah, put in Trump. Should I He's getting evicted anyways. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> they turn to reptiles. Can we talk about Trump getting like fucking like is Trump? From... Oh yeah, that was on the list too. That was on the list too. Would that spark too much? Con would you get too many dislikes from that? Or for for just saying Trump got banned? No, it's just stating Trump got banned. 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 Trump I'm not gonna try to influence your audience. I just think it's kind of funny. Yeah. Well, if you guys didn't know, uh, Trump got banned from like every social media platform he owns. Uh, because yeah. he got he impeached and then, twice. Um. Yeah, homie yeah. got banned from YouTube and Google. He got banned from the fucking country. He got banned from fucking Pinterest, and then he got banned Pinterest? from the White House. Like, he got impeached right out. Yeah, he got banned from like Spotify and Pinterest and shit. TikTok, Spotify, and Spotify Google, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter. Like, Honey, yo, imagine they had to. They had, all those companies had to have communicated with that. They were just they just all got a tape, like one meeting. Like, hey guys, you want to ban Trump? Yes. Sure. And they just all walked away and then fucking banned. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. You know that's how it went too. Probably. Like, how do I say? Like, like, seriously, though, what is he supposed to use? Like, Yahoo? <laughs> Bing. Yeah. He just can't influence Bing. anything anymore. Like, he can, he can write a novel. He can only appear on TV. He can write a novel. Yo. I've heard other podcasts Back to are the good to old get days. him on their podcast, but if we get Trump on our podcast. Three liberals Trump. and a conservative. How you feeling right now? How you feeling? <laughs> to suck, huh? Mm. I like to. Bro, I feel like I don't know. I feel like like I, I I don't know if it was a coincidence. Like that man, fuck his career just fucking went downhill in like the span of a week. Like, see a lot. He literally got like banned. I mean, there's a everything. lot of people That's when you what? say that. I don't know. There's a. Few uh, people that come to mind. People Wait, say a mean? week is like nothing to them. Well, a week, a lot. See, a lot happened in that week. Anything can happen in a oh, day. He just, it's how scary the. He world just got is. banned from having a career. Period. I don't know. Just I don't know what happened. He can be a cook. He can be Gordon Ramsay. Maybe <laughs> when you inspire a coup in your people to. Oh, yeah, no, it's kind of gotta raise some flags. Uh oh. There was a Trump stinky, supporter stinky. in my class, my Spanish class. I remember before quarantine happened, she was she whispered to me, "Hey, uh, please don't get mad at me, but I'm a Trump supporter." I'm like, "Well, why would I get if mad?" You have to say. Why would I get mad? Saying... Yeah, that's the question. Why would they get mad? Why would I? You know, if you mm -hmm. why, then you're. Mm. It's like. You know? I, I could think of other people in school that would freak out at her for saying she likes Trump. But, like, yeah, Trump and other people's opinions. Some people might think he's bad. Some people might think he's good. It's just an opinion at the end of the day. But it's like, you know, it's like if she wants to believe opinion. it, she wants to believe it. I think, like, I think the, this is, I feel like this is what happened in the Civil War, too. Like, yeah. if you think about it, someone says their opinion and, like, People just look at them completely differently. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, like, you have a different opinion thing, than me. I'm not your friend anymore. It's not like an opinion anymore. It's like basic human rights, you know? Well, yeah, well, that's like, the point. It is. 
Well, yeah. It's just my opinion that I think black people should be slaves in the Civil War. Like, hey, you, guys, you know, agree to disagree, you know? <laughs> <laughs> But it's like I'm not yeah. gonna get mad at. No, but I'm saying opinion. I'm saying I'm I'm scared that another one will happen. You know. No, well, people want a civil war to happen, which is crazy. Like, we're at a point where like we we're divided, and it it kind of is in certain areas too. Like the countryside, literally all voted for Trump, and like the more city areas all voted for Biden. Like. Yeehaw to that partner. Dude, I remember I, so I drove out of state once into like a really huge countryside. Um, cause you know they got a nice farm there. What the there. fuck are you? Re- what are you reacting to? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, so you know it's weird because you go from my house where it's just <laughs> suburbs and everyone's like a Democrat to like you move up, you go, you drive up state north, and it's like all of a sudden American flags, people with trucks, make America people great with guns, again, people with motorcycles, such. people with like, I've seen so many of those, people with like jean shorts, like, and like accents, <laughs> like, yeah, you see my truck, like, so I see some people in the parking lot, literally, not even exaggerating, hey, I got this truck in 03, my father gave it to me, and he said that if I put some calibers in this F-52, I'll be all fine, all winter long, that's what I do. You wanna go deer hunting with me? Whip our cocks this, out. Uh, the house I rent from, the, like, we, we rent to, like, people, and, like, the landlord over here, he lives over there, right? He has a son. Is he he has a very intriguing son, he and he has two huge American flags oh, on okay. both ends of his, like both mirrors of his truck. Why is the American like a flag, Trump thing? Why is the American flag the only flag you see? In like, damn, you're probably racist. Like, yeah, it's, that's true. And like, he's, a, he's like, like a major Trump, Trump supporter. Well, yeah, that's true. I think I shouldn't be too harsh on people for being patriotic. It's, I, I see it on the internet sometimes where people literally get bashed off. Like, oh, you have an American flag in your room? It's like, whoa, that must mean you like Trump. It's like, no, Trump and America, two different things. Trump runs America, but America is a country. Like, you can you can love your country. Not anymore. Ooh. That's like the same thing as saying, oh, you have a North Korean flag in your room? You must like King John Moon. It's like, that's the same thing. Don't they make don't they make people in like North Korea have a picture of the dictator in the room or something? Like oh, they have, everyone time. has to have at least one picture of the ugly ass dude. No, if I don't. Can have we a... talk about the Pledge of Allegiance? Yeah, what happened to that? Like, yeah, I don't do that anymore. What, what, does that anymore. what happened to that? Like, like, like as soon as high school dropped, just none of in the morning announcement. As soon as I went to middle school with you guys, that dropped. Yeah. In middle school, it was like optional. Oh yeah, I was yeah. Like, they were like, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. And the school just didn't happen. Yeah, people didn't um, care. Even the teachers didn't care. It's like the whole kneeling thing kind of actually like exposed it, and then like everyone kind of forgot about it because, and then it became like a normal to not do it, yeah. which is so fucking weird because my whole life I was taught like you had to do it, yeah. or else there would be some imaginary it's punishment. Weirder to think that you had to do it. It's like, like why are we yeah. forcing our children? that that's that's very dictatory. it's very authoritarian yeah. it has authoritarian vibes to yeah, it you and know? they always justified it in some way and i always thought about it like it's, it, if this is like such a free place then why am i so why am i like hailing this flag and why am i being made to hail this flag like what the that's... fuck this is such a free place well whether you agree with it or not you, you gotta love it so yeah. <laughs> I remember um, in history class, I always tell this story. So this is a well, this is a well taught story. I, I told story. I tell that everyone. So I had this teacher, and there was a, a picture on a whiteboard of um, a bunch of n- <laughs> funny looking men, you know, doing the the white power symbol, and um, I di- I didn't know what that meant at that point. I'm like, oh, what the hell is this? So you know. I imitate that. I'm like, hey, look at me. <laughs> and he's like, uh, don't, don't do that. I'm like, why? He's like, that's bad. We're gonna about. We're, he's like, why? What's, what's the history behind this? He's like, that's what we're gonna talk about in class today. And then, <laughs> and then, okay, hold on, hold on, cause like, 
you had to expect that kids like just naturally kids to like teenagers just naturally copy action they see yeah so you had to expect that you know <laughs> especially if you're yeah. Had... yeah yeah i think he was assuming that they knew well i always act yeah. crazy so i think he thought that was normal of me to do something like that <laughs> anthony wasn't it like was it wasn't it like the nazi salute like yes I like, that should have been obvious, I'm not going to lie to you. I hailed Hitler in, in history class, and I got away with it. <laughs> that should be the title of the fucking podcast. I do hailed it. Hitler, <laughs> Hitler in history class. Don't do it. got away with it. Don't do that. What? Bad, no, what? bad idea. Don't yeah, do, don't that. do that. Yeah. What? Views, not, am I right? Not the title views, idea. Anything for you. views. It's a mistake. Anything. It's a mistake, though. <laughs> I didn't get in trouble because he knew that I wasn't aware of it. Because if I was aware of it, I wouldn't have done it. And if I was a bad person and did it anyways, I definitely would have gotten in trouble. But I felt like if it was... I, a feel like I got lucky. I think I dodged a bullet with this teacher. Because if it was another teacher... Like, I can't think of any other teacher in my school replaced with him, and I would, like, just get, like, suspended. I feel like I'd, all the things I've done, I've done, I've gone away with. But it's just mostly because I wasn't that is, aware. Is I'd say not sadly, illegal. a lot of the time, like, I'll, like, just do not know how to deal with children not knowing things nowadays. Yeah, true. And just ex- to know things yeah, rather than it's like it's weird but they also contradict themselves when they do that because it's like oh my god i like you expect the kid to know everything i expect this kid to know everything i do but then again you're also saying oh kids now these days are so stupid they don't know anything i know it's like contradicting you're yourself. supposed to teach them that yeah you kind of dug us into this hole and you're kind of your job is to dig us yeah. out Another thing, too, is I feel like um, kind of on the topic of ignorance, how to handle it, I feel like that's where a lot of the problems come from. You have a lot of just bad things because they think that that's just, you know, like, okay, you know, and that just causes problems. Why you, hence why you have a bunch of people like, I didn't know the n-word was bad. I I just you know that's uh, that dude. I said it's, I, like yes, yeah, I didn't know what the n-word was till sixth grade. Uh, when I went to uh, middle school, I'm not gonna say the school name. Obviously, we made that mistake so many times, but I perfected the mistake. I went to when I first went to middle school with you guys. That's when I learned it. <laughs> Ironic enough, it's like I learned that word from you. Not from you specifically, but from the general atmosphere of of being in that you know, area. It's a very mixed place. Yeah, but I feel like it is a good thing to know. Because now I'm aware. It's like, if I didn't... You know it, not to say it. Yeah, and I, I feel like a lot of people know. And go know. through the experience of being in a ghetto area. It's like, I wouldn't know any of this stuff. You know what I mean? I'm glad I know it now. Because it's like, I've got some experience under my belt. I say... I remember I was on um, a Discord server once. And if, uh, Alano knew this too. Um... Someone had like the B word, and it's not like the word bitch or anything. It's like a slur, I guess, against like. Oh no, you said it. No, it's like a slur against like Spanish people. I don't know, but it's like. Oh, oh, oh. that shit is newly invented. That shit is newly invented. Like, I, I don't know understand what that meant. I thought it was like a funny meme. I thought it was a funny meme username because someone had a username and then I'm like, who the hell? Is, who who the hell is blank? Beans are funny. Yeah, beans are funny. funny right? bean, like. And I'm like, be, and then I but... said it, and Raph had like a whole meltdown. I'm like, Raph, what, what's wrong? He's like, you said the B word. I'm like, Raph, all I said was bean. And he's like, no, that's racist. Er. And I'm like, how? He's like, because that's a slur. And that's, you see, I just, I don't know. There's, I just, I feel like there's so many things I don't know still. I, I could say, I feel like a lot of things I say. It's it's it are offensive, but I don't. To be know fair, most offensive. of the people I know don't even know that slur word, and I I, I, I don't even I don't know. That's, if someone I, called me that, I would just look at them and start laughing. I remember seeing a video on YouTube a few years ago. Um, it was like a parody video of like 2050 in the future, and how it was like a parent walks in the room, and he's like, "Oh, hey, how are you?" And the person turns around and is like, "Um, you're supposed to use my right pronouns." Uh. Uh, you're being really offensive right now. Um, don't refer to me as this. Oh, you're being really Wait. offensive. Say these words. Say this word. I don't know. And it was kind of like, 
I guess he was trying to portray what the future would be like, where people would just like you know, you have to be like very specific. I feel like I feel like some people are too sensitive, but I feel like a lot of stuff is justified. Well, I mean, if yeah, people like, like people like, like Naya need to like stop. Yeah. Like, how do I need I to go, it? so I'm out of here. Like, there's two things. I might be back, so I'm out. You have to acknowledge, like what you do so if you do make a mistake you all you need like if you make a mistake you should learn from it that's all that matters yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. just as long as you oh like continue to do the right thing afterwards that's what matters yeah. and two it's like a lot of it's just common courtesy which is the thing that upsets me about it like if you know you're not supposed to say it don't say it yeah. If you if someone wants you to say something or not say something, just don't or do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how do I explain it? Like, uh, for example, again, going relating back to the ignorance thing, you have this kind of idea where, like, a lot of, like, you know, white kids, and I'm not going to, like, shy away from, say, the N-word, like a lot and they'll be like oh it's funny because i'm not supposed to say it and, but that's because they just don't realize or just don't have black friends or black friends that weren't raised in that environment to say hey that's not okay that's not good to say you shouldn't say those things you shouldn't be like like you shouldn't do that that hurts me and that hurts that literally hurts people they don't experience the harm that they actually do so they don't get to learn from it. And they just think, oh, it's funny to say because I'm not supposed to say it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, a thing I'm also going to talk uh, I don't know, it's a sensitive topic, but like gender pronouns where it's like I will refer to someone if, you know, a certain way if they want me to refer to them as it, of course, to respect them. But it's like people get so heated up when I say, oh, uh, what's her name? And it's like, oh, she's not a she. She's uh, she's this or that. You know, it's like, well, I don't know that. I just kind of, if I see a girl, I'm going to assume that it's a girl. But that's just my human nature. Just, you know, my brain just seeing what my eye sees and processing that. And, and I just yeah. feel like it'd be a problem just... in the future when people get so heated up about that. Because it's like, you can be what you want, but it's like, don't get pissed at someone that doesn't know or isn't aware. Again, I think it's just tolerance from both sides. Like, again, it goes back to, like, just learn and move on, you know? Yeah. You know, like, like, for some people, they kind of get tired because they called it, like, purposefully by some people. Mm -hmm. And that, like, I, that, like, hurts, you know? Like, you, like they're trying to do something and move past that and you know they kind of just can't because people keep you know 11. My dog like starting to bark. he knows it's not 11. You notice how we do these podcasts like super not super late at night but like at night like nine o'clock do it at three in the morning <laughs> Three in the morning podcast challenge. I feel oh. like in the future we should attempt doing like a twenty four hour podcast, like a challenge. Just going all out berserk, twenty four hours. Man. Get a couple of drinks on the table, play some poker, and just fucking. There's just like several bottles, of like energy drinks everywhere. <laughs> we just have to stock up on energy drinks and multivitamins. <laughs> I've got my multivitamins. Yeah, when I was little, I when I saw multivitamins, I thought they were just like fruit snacks. So you design them like fruit snacks. Yeah, I like fruit snacks. So I'm like asking my mom, "Hey, can I can I get this?" And she's like, "Sure." And then I open the jar and I'm like chugging so much in my mouth, and she's like, "No, that's not. You're supposed to eat it. They're different." And I'm like, "Well, how? Two like a specific amount." And I'm like, "Oh, one a day, two a day." What happens if you take three multivitamins instead of two? Yeah, like, um... These straight up look like gumdrops. These yeah. look like fruit gumdrops. Why would they make them like that? 
Don't make them like that. Just make it like, or something. It's like the you know? same thing as like making like a sandwich and just like putting rat poison on it. Oh, it's it's the same thing. It's just different. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my, my, hold on, I think I can get mine too. Cock and balls be like. So it's like, I got my multivitamins here, right? And it's like, they're, they're, they're like, they're, they're squishable gummies too. But I wonder what happens if you take three of those, three of these. I took two in the morning. Die. We'll die on the spot. I don't know what happens. I want to try it, but I don't, I feel like I'm going to be so stupid for doing it. But it's like. You will die on the spot, Anthony. I feel your death. Like I've heard people say, you get very energetic when you get take more than the amount you're supposed to be taking. And I don't think I want to take three of these at nine o'clock because I don't think I'm gonna be sleeping anytime soon if I do that. Just the smell yeah. of it gives me energy. <laughs> you went stinky fingies. Fingers smell good. They smell like fruit. Yeah. Like poop. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like how we were just talking about ignorance and now just poopy fingies. <laughs> poopy <laughs> fingies. Yay, poopy. Duality of man. Yes. Oh, you have a gun. Nice. Shh. Nice way to get monetized, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> It's a toy. It's a toy. It doesn't even fire, actually. It's just you put like a thing here. Then it just and then it just makes like a, a like a smoke Sweet. sound. Nice. Where'd a wanna go? It's a bong. Where'd a wanna go? I don't know. Just dead. Hey, you gotta make space for the podcast, Anthony. <laughs> Imagine you're just like behind my curtain, just like I just hear you gotta make space for the podcast. The knife comes out. He's like, I told you, there's not enough space for this podcast. Just my face. The next episode, it's just you're like the only one in the podcast. Like, hey, welcome to the Coco Show. Back with another video. Another podcast. Show. That's funny. I feel like we could like make a another youtube channel like where we all collab on it you know like a group channel but like for our podcast series we could do that i mean podcast i I mean i have a podcast series on my channel right and it's kind of a tradition to do a podcast a month i feel like most of my viewers would know that but it's like i don't know i think if i stop doing it it, i don't know people some people wouldn't like it i don't know I, I don't know, I've been getting... Oh, shit, my dog keeps... Bark- my meal keeps barking. Name well, that beast. I'm going to eat that beast. That cum beast. Party. My dog barks at, like, random times. I don't get it. Uh, are there any topics? Are there other topics? Did you know if you got like if you were in a room with like no oxygen, let's say like a different gas like argon, like argon, you wouldn't know that you like you're dying. You wouldn't know. You you only know like there's like bad you're like suffocating when like not enough carbon dioxide. Oh, Chernobyl. Getting at you. So like if you're inhaling argon, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm fine. And then you're gonna go to sleep, and then you just die. A silent death. I've heard that um, scientists said that if the sun ever like exploded and like wiped out the solar system or something, that'd be terrible for the economy. <laughs> it would. The stocks would not do good. But we wouldn't know that we died until like eight minutes after it happened. Like eight fit like eight fifteen minutes, yeah, because that that's just how far we are from it, you know. But it's weird because it's like different time traveling. I don't. It's weird. It's like this. It's like the Earth is already destroyed, but we're somehow still on it. We would just not be aware that it's destroyed. We yeah. mm. we we'd like it would be impending. 
like, uh oh, what do we do? Oh, we got so like 15 it would just be like an eight minute delay, right? I've heard that like um, there's like another universe out there that's now dying, but it already died nine billion years ago. But we're just seeing it now, which is weird. I'm it's just like how it's just insane how time works. It's like it's weird. Travels very slowly when you're far away. True, but when you're in the moment, it's what I meant to say. Light, light, ah, the light, the way that light refracts off, like Retracts, yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. You know. I'm a dirty little crime boy. Civil War musket. Damn. I used to have a gun, but it was like a. Oh, like, oh my gosh! I used to have a gun, but it was like a Nerf gun. My mom. It was a real gun. My mom forced me to throw it out. She said it was too violent, but it was just a Nerf gun. And then it's I, too I, I was like, okay, sure, I'll throw it out. Whatever. It's okay. I'll go to McDonald's. Fine. Go to McDonald's. <laughs> Fine. Uh, I remember the McDonald's playgrounds. They used to smell really bad. I I really hated those times. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I remember those times where it's like you'd w crawl through the tunnel and you'd see another person on the other side of the tunnel, and they'd start just chasing you, like sprinting after you. I hate those feelings of just being in a small I... area. And someone's crawling after you, and you're just, there's nothing you can do. You have to crawl as fast as you can. I have the exact opposite reaction where I would not want to interact with them at all. So I just stare at them and be like, and then just go the other way around. You chase like, them. It's like FNAF. I'm go they try to jump scare you, you jump scare yeah. them back. <laughs> that weird. Freaking ladder stair thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at me, guys. Made a big first. I'm a drummer. Uh, what if I just have this thing like sticking up like that? That'd be funny. No, I just have it like this. Well, what's a fisher's? What's a, what's a fisherman's favorite favorite instrument? Is this a pun? Or is this like a... It's, it's fun. Fuck. Fiddle? I don't know. The bass. Fuck. I'm a bassist and I would know that. I would know that. I'm a bassist. <laughs> I would know such a thing. I'm a bassist. Should I get my bass out? If you guys don't know me, I... Well, you, obviously you don't. But, um, I play, I play the bass guitar i'm gonna go get it guitar hero be like guitar hero be like so yeah if you guys didn't know i play bass uh i always i think a, a, a thing i always wanted to do was make a music video i don't know i mean we could make the strangest music video Whoa. this can actually be used as a weapon kind of like how joe walsh murdered 15 children at his Little spring concert back in 1973 while playing Rocky Mountain High. Relatable. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another P Pigeon bass tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play penis and balls. A simple bass line, but we'll get to the point. You want to start your Do finger. Alright, you want to start your finger here on the fifth fret? Alright. You're gonna keep strumming that. I like penis and balls, but it's not that great. I like, I like penis and balls, hairs and walls, like but and walls. the balls are gray. Gun solo. Yeah, gone solo. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. A little musical uh, fact that was about me.
We have, uh, we're we in a band, but I haven't really made anything yet. Or my band hasn't, at least. We, we can't haven't. even decide on the name. But we already did. It's called Mantra, but do you want to call it Cumbies? Oh, yes. Some, some other people want to put, call it FNAF or Thunder Dicks. Thunder Dicks, Cumbies, Cum Beats. Cum Beats. That's our genre of music. Come on the beat, but don't beat the cum. <laughs> deep. Deep. Beep. It's like deep, like a beep. Man, that's ah. so deep, man. Get into my groin. My groin. Ah. I'm like screaming. Rawr. Rawr. You know what's weird? Do you ever feel like it's like, when you're home alone, the house is just different. The house is alive. It's like when other people are in the house, it's it's like, it's okay. But when you're in alone in a room and it's dark or it's like, uh, you know, just super quiet at night, it's like, the house feels different. That's how I'm feeling right now. It's like my dad's asleep, but it's like my mom's still at work and it's like pitch black in the house. My room... Right now, it's not even, like, actually light. Like, if that light went out, the whole house is actually just pitch black. That's good to know, Anthony. I'm always living in constant fear, Coco. <laughs> and regret. So I most people that. are. <laughs> yes, most people are. Man, what, what, would, what would your first thing, what would you do? What would the first thing you do if COVID went away? Your mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> is that is that an accident or? Cause no. no. <laughs> I say your mom so much. I do it too, naturally. Goals. <laughs> Goals. This sucks. I hate this. Okay, Coco. Wait, um. Group hangout. Everyone, like everyone. And then just breathe on each. Other, you know. Are you talking about like a podcast? Get back. A podcast idea? Like everyone is in the podcast? Yeah, too. We can do that. That'd be so chaotic. How would we even do that? We just yell at each other for like an hour and a half. <laughs> We'd all talk at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm getting a phone just call. yell at each other. So, um, yeah, that's about to be it. Um, that's it for this podcast. Um, make sure to subscribe to Call Me Carson. Alright, see you guys. Oh.